Hi, so what do we have here? Uh, I am using an uh, RTL stick, a no Alec version 5, and I have uh, SDR Sharp. SDR Sharp uh, is very good to for decoding radio sounds, as I'm doing now. You can hear this uh, hiss sound. And uh, clearly you can see this, the signal here. Um, I am using the NFM mode, narrow FM. Uh, the frequency here is uh, 400 405.7 megahertz and it's a radio sound near Hanover Hanover in the north north of Germany now I'm losing the signal a bit uh, the the software is free RS41 tracker and uh, very important is to use the um, oh no, that's network sound to use the cable output that's um, um, that's uh, the the virtual ca uh, audio cable that you can download for free. You will find the links in the video description. Uh, it's very easy to install and then you have cable input and cable output and then you can easily decode uh, a radio sound. Then you in the settings uh, you just choose uh, the virtual audio cable but then you're done that's all you have to do it's very, really very easy and if the signal is okay you uh, the, the, the software is starting to decode and it's uh, quite interesting to watch um the the altitude for example is 24629 meters it's incredibly high Be uh, usual airplanes only go 10000 meters and it's still going about 8 to 10000 meters uh, over 30000 meters and here you can see the vertical speed you can choose uh, the units if you like to kilometers per hour wind speed is quite high 142 uh, i think it's a jet stream direction 305 degrees and here this is quite interesting uh, the range is the uh, the horizontal range but the slant range is the range to the uh, radius on from your home location my home location is here the yellow dot uh, the radius sound is over there somewhere and uh, near Gifhorn ah that's where my landlord lives <laughs> and there is another city that you might know um, Wolfsburg that's where the VW uh, the v VW cars are being made here's Hanover uh, at the moment the the signal is not very good I will decrease the sound a bit. Yeah, what what else can we do with this uh, wonderful program? Um, you can also visualize the 
the signal to prove whether it's um, getting signal. When this, it can happen that the, the sound settings are wrong and then you only have a flat line. Then you know, okay, something is going wrong. Um, you can also change the map, map type selection. You can change to topo map. And then you can see, uh, th then you get the idea of the landscape. Here it's quite flat. Yeah, now the, the radio sound is not moving anymore because the, the signal is too weak. Yeah. Um, that's also interesting how to do the settings. Um, first of all, you have to go to quadrat. I don't know how to pronounce it. Quadrat quad quadrature sampling. <laughs> quadrature sampling, something like that. Uh, direct sampling Q branch is for uh, short wave and medium wave, long wave, etc. Everything uh, below 28 megahertz. So you, you, you get the first one, then you can um, you can set tuner AGC, which is automatic gain control. This increases uh, the signal RTL AGC can sometimes decrease the signals. Ah, now we're getting a little bit better, I think. Yeah, it's getting a little bit stronger, the, the signal. Anyway, it's, it's great fun just to watch the radio sounds, I think but also to chase them. Then you have to go outside the room into, the, into nature and uh, that's, quite, that's quite an adventure. I did that many times and even if you don't find it, because you, you get the, um, it, it has GPS, you get the coordinates and when it has landed, you have the coordinates, roughly, because it's you never get it, you never get them a hundred percent, of course, because the radius you, you will, I think you will never make it to receive the radius sound until the landing, because of the landscape, because of your position and. But you get, uh, you can get very close to it, and then you jump into your car or your motorbike or whatever, and uh, have some uh, binoculars with you and uh, start chasing the radio sound. It's great fun. I loved it. So that's it. It was just a, a quick, uh, a spontaneous idea of of mine to show you um, how I decode radio sounds. Um, I, I I switched on my <laughs> my little radio scanner and just. Um, And I had this the same frequency set to the uh, radio scanner, and I heard the, I could hear the radio sound, and then I thought, ah, let's let's make a little video about it. So if you want to try it, um, you can find uh, the timetables in the in the internet. Uh, just search for RS forty one radio sounds. Uh, 
in your country, whatever, and then you should find uh, some timetables when they start. It's always UTC time that you will find. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great time, stay healthy and happy, <laughs> which is not very easy in these times. So, see you again.